welcome back to my channel. It is Malik Wajante. Thank you so much for coming back. But today we are gonna do a quick and easy off the school, off the work look. It takes you literally like 10 minutes. You are out the door. Um, in the morning, you don't have time for all of that back and forth, whole face beat, blah, blah, blah. So we are gonna do a quick and simple beat, honey. I think I've used one, two, three, four, five, six products, and that's it for this whole look. So, you know, in the workplace, at school, you don't need to be hella extra, and that's what we are not gonna do today. We are gonna be simple and cute. You don't need no full coverage, girl. You don't need it. So, let's jump into this video. All right, guys, so we have to start with these good old eyebrows. My eyebrows were recently arched, so there's not too much extra work that needs to be done, but I am using the um, Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. It is retractable, and it does have the spoolie on the other side, so it's very easy to use. And I'm just filling in my eyebrows, very simple, nothing too extra, no really too much defining because it's just a simple makeup look. And then in the front, I am doing some light strokes upwards so that it does match the hair pattern that I already have. And what I do to one side, you guessed it, we're going to do to the other side so that these um, lovely brows do look like sibling. Following filling them in, I am going to go to that other side and use that spoolie and just comb out the hairs on my brows and make sure all the hairs are going in the correct direction. Now following now we are going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color tan so it's a little bit lighter than my normal. I ran out of toffee so we had to go with shade lighter than that and this is the tan. And I'm using the brush not trying to use too many extra tools just to do this look. So we're going right under the eyebrow to clean up what we may have messed up and we're doing that to both eyebrows. Now we are going to use a Q-tip to um, blend out this concealer so it doesn't look cray cray. Um, it's been my new favorite hack for my makeup because it's easy and it just picks up all that excess um, concealer that is underneath my eyes. So we're going to go ahead and swipe that across and make sure we get all the excess concealer out of the areas that we don't want. I will say to take your time underneath your eyebrow because it's easy to get concealer all the way in your brow and then you have another issue and then you have to go back over your eyebrows. No one has time for that. Once that's done, I go in with the e.l.f. Um, brow gel so that my brows stay where they are throughout the day, honey. Because, uh, you know, I wipe my face multiple times a day and I don't want to wipe my eyebrows off. That's not cute, honey. After that, we are going in with the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. Um, it hides pores and wrinkles. I love this primer. I actually got it in one of my Ipsy bags a few months ago. Don't remember what month, but it is very good and it's not heavy at all. So I'm going to go ahead and put a dot on my forehead and my cheeks and then on my chin and rub that stuff in, honey. So I didn't want to use a foundation, so I'm using the CoverGirl Queen collection, the CC cream. Normally throughout the week, I don't really do foundation foundation. Um, I normally use a CC cream because it's easier and it gives me a little bit of coverage. So I've been in love with this um, Real Techniques beauty blender it's the body blender so it's larger it's way larger let me not say that it's way larger than your normal beauty blender but it gets the job done honey and it gets it done quickly 
after that we're going back in with that LA Girl Pro Concealer um, in the color tan and we're putting that underneath our eyes on both sides down the bridge of our nose and then on our forehead and we're going back with the body beauty blender and blending that concealer out Following that, I have that blue brush has um, translucent powder on it. It just like holds in translucent powder. So I didn't use any extra, but it is the Mary Kay, just normal translucent powder. And I just go ahead and um, pack that in and brush it off. And then I am using the e.l.f. Dark Blush Palette. And I'm using the pale pink and the peach color. And I'm going ahead and brushing that on my face so we can have a little bit of color to this makeup look so we look awake even though we may not be awake for class or work whatever the case may be honey now you know my handy dandy my favorite bh cosmetics carly bible the highlighter and eyeshadow palette palette Ooh, can't talk we're going to use a dense fan brush and go ahead and push that on our cheekbones down the bridge of our nose and on that lovely cupid's bow so when we hit the light honey we are shining 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 yeah and then we are going to do these bottom lashes we are using the bella pierre cosmetics the volume lash waterproof mascara and on our top lashes we are using the scandalous by rimmel london extreme eyes i love this mascara both of them are in the color black but i prefer to use the pink one the top and then the yellow one at the bottom because the yellow one has smaller bristles and then the top one has a more fuller bristle and it pulls those lashes like i need them to be honey Now after that girl, you gotta set that face. So we're gonna use the NYX Matte Finish um, Finny Matte Spray. And we're gonna spray that all over and fan that in and let your skin soak all that loveliness in, honey. Yes. And I am using a Victoria's Secret Lip Gloss. It doesn't have a shade, whatever. It's like a tan shade. I'm just putting that on. During the week, I don't really wear too much lipstick because it's distracting for a workplace work in corporate America so no one needs all of that but we got these two little braids and we're going to slick these edges down before we put this wig on honey we are using the clear eco styler this is original I, it's the only one that doesn't like flake in my hair it's the crystal one yeah so we're going to head and using a toothbrush the ladies edges down baby girl Put this good old wig on, brush it down so we look cute or whatever. This is the wig that I got from Dress Lily, which the video will be linked above on how I feel about it, how quality it is. But that is it, y'all. That is the makeup look. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share this video. We all need help in figuring out what's the best look in the morning. Okay? See you in the next See all one. the good things face. Looking at my past ain't right. But I swear you came my way. Like an angel fell from the sky. No lie.